I want us to understand one thing is that everything that we obtain, everything we get from the Lord must be maintained. We must understand as Christians is that healing can be lost. Jesus said to one man in John chapter 5, he says, don't commit sin or else the healing you received, you will lose it. We see that deliverance can be lost. Jesus said a parable that one person was delivered, but because his house wasn't possessed by the Lord, that eventually seven, deem seven more demons came in and it was worse for that house later days than it was in the beginning. Jesus said in Luke chapter 15 that the coin can be lost, the sheep can be lost, and a son can be lost. Samson teaches us that the anointing can be lost. We know that uh, in the Bible that uh, many different things that people can obtain, they have the chance and the opportunity to lose it. It's easier to obtain something than to maintain that thing which you obtain. Most of us know it's a lot easier to get married than to stay married. A prodigal son obtained inheritance really quickly, but he did not have the character and did not have the lifestyle to maintain what he obtained. And so I want us to understand tonight that whatever we obtain must be maintained. Whatever we obtain from God must be maintained. Your car must be maintained. Your body must be maintained. Your finances, they must be maintained. Amen. Relationships, they must be maintained. If you get married, it must be maintained. And so many people prepare, you know, six, seven months for the wedding, pay, you know, twenty to $50,000 for the wedding, and they put so much effort for one day, but they put so little effort into a marriage which lasts after the wedding day. Everything you get, everything you obtain must be maintained. But the second truth is also very important is everything that's maintained will multiply. See whatever we don't maintain we will lose but whatever we maintain will multiply and this is the beautiful subject is that sometimes we want the multiplication and we ask the Lord say Lord give me more when in reality the multiplication can exist in the maintenance of what the Lord has given us. When we treasure what God has given to us, when we value it correctly, when we live on the budget, when we go to the gym, exercise and eat healthy, when we have date nights and prioritize not screaming and throwing plates as a way to send a message to our spouse, when we live our life maintaining our marriage, maintaining our health, maintaining our finances, something happens miraculously, supernaturally, things tend to multiply. Things that are not maintained tend to break, 